everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm doing some posts and sheathing work on this side of the house. I wanted to get a bunch of the lumber used up on top of the pile of floorboards that are going to be going up pretty soon. Instead of taking that stuff and moving it someplace else and then having access to the floorboards, I figured, well, why don't I just actually use that stuff? So I'm getting ready to use that stuff up. So instead of me having to shuffle it around a bunch, I can just use it and then get at the floorboards that I need afterwards. Uh, and working on this section here, uh, it's got the regular about three, four foot uh, section between posts. And as you can see, here's a little piece of scrap. It's not really going to make it, but I always keep my scrap. As you can see, just off to your uh, left over here, there's a bunch of little pieces that are just on the wood pile. Uh, I'm sorry, on that dirt pile, uh, and those are really just pieces of you know for River to play with. They're blocks he can build out of those. But I keep pretty much all of my scrap, and I organize it. There's a stack right over here. There's some stack behind you. I've got a bunch of it over here. I organize it by lumber type and length, so that when I need a little piece, like right in here, I need to put. Uh, boards across this area. I have pieces that I can use to cut. Instead of taking a you know a full length piece and cutting it up into little bits, I can take it out of here. So whenever you are working on a project and you have scrap, I'd highly recommend organizing it and keeping all that stuff so that when you have little things that you need to you know use that sort of stuff for, and I guarantee it's going to come up, you'll not only have it, but you'll know where it is. That's it. Thanks for watching.